how can we use the law to trigger the necessary changes, to trigger the necessary political will to address the issue of global warming and sea level rise and climate change <clears throat> with serious, determined effort. First, we have to begin a revolution. A revolution first of the mind. That the environment is not about the birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees. It is about life and the sources of life. The global legal action against climate change. We are trying to mobilize the world to simultaneously file legal actions. We've decided to start with the Philippines because the Philippines is the most vulnerable to climate change. Uh, we have the longest non-contiguous coastline in the world. And as you see, we're losing our coastlines very quickly. We are on the typhoon belt. We are buffeted by at least 25 typhoons every year. We also have a very fragile source of water, fresh water, because we're islands. What we did, we prepared templates. We're now gathering as many lawyers. We have about 300, 200, 300 lawyers now. Uh, and the range of legal actions will range from individual letter requests, to collective petitions, demand letters, notices to sue, administrative action, and where necessary, to judicial action. It is time to take action. We prepared templates. We have now about 4, 30, 30, 28, 30 templates so that people who want to use it can just fill in the blanks. Put the date, <laughs> they put the names and uh, fill in the blanks. And then the drama here is that we are going to file all of this simultaneously on June 5, World Environment Day. We know the problems, we know the solutions. Was it Aristotle who said, how do you get from here to there? Solvitor ambulando. We solve it by walking. <laughs> but in this case, it is not solvitor ambulando. It is solvitor action. We solve it by taking action. Why is it law? Why is it legal? Because it is based on the highest law, the law of nature. The right and instinct of self-preservation and self-perpetuation. So long as there will be human beings, we must have land, land, air, and water to sustain ourselves. We should make a categorical statement that failure is not, repeat, not an option. You, my friends, are the glimmer of hope.